Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about most commonly used terms in data warehousing. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen the basic concept of data warehouse. So in this lecture, we are going to see some basic terminologies which are involved in the data warehousing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So our first topic is metadata. So the metadata is simply nothing but a data about data. So the data I use to present the other data known as a metadata. So it is just like index of a book. So for example, the index of book serves as a metadata for all the content which is present in that book. So in the most simpler manner, we can say that metadata is a summarized data that leads to the detailed data which is present in the warehouse. So we can define metadata as the metadata is a road map of data warehouse, just like an index of a book. The second point is metadata is a data warehouse defines the warehouse objects. And the last one is metadata acts as a directory, which is nothing but an index of a data warehouse. Our next topic is metadata repository. So the metadata repository is nothing but an integral part of a data warehouse system. So it contains the following metadata which is given here. So the first one is business metadata. So the business metadata contains the data ownership information, business definitions and changing the policies. The next one is operational metadata. So this operational metadata includes the currency of data. So the next one is data for mapping from the operational environment to the data warehouse. So this metadata includes source databases and their contents as well as data extraction, data partition, data cleaning, transformation rules, refresh and purging rules. And the last one is algorithms for the summarization purpose. So which includes the dimensions algorithms, data on granularity, aggregation, and summarizations. So our next topic is data cube. So what do you mean by data cube? So the data cube which help us to represent the data in multiple dimensions. So the following table represents the 2D view of sales data for some company with respect to the time, item and the location dimensions. So here you can see the time, the type of item which are entertainment, keyboard, mobiles and locks and the location which is New Delhi. But let's consider, suppose a company wants to keep track of sales record with the help of sales data warehouse with respect to the time, item, branch and location. So these dimensions will allow to keep track of monthly sales at which the branch of items were sold. So there is a table which is associated with each of these dimensions. See this table which is known as a dimension table. So for example, item dimension table may have attributes such as item name, item type and item brand. But here in this 2D table, we have the records with respect to the time and item only. So the sales for New Delhi are shown with respect to time and item dimensions according to the type of item sold. But if you want to view the sales data with one more dimension, so let's say the location dimension, then the 3D view would be more useful. So the 3D table of the sales data with respect to the time, item and location will be more useful as compared to this 2D view. So as you can see in this table, we have the records with respect to the time, item types and the as well as the location. So this is a 3D data cube which will be more beneficial for a analysis. So this table can be represented as a 3D data cube which is given here. Here is the time. These are all the items which are mouse, mobile and modem and these are all the locations. So this is a 3D data cube representation of this above three dimension table. Our next topic is data mart. So what is a data mart really? The data marts contains a subset of organization wide data that is valuable for a specific group of people in an organization. So in other words, we can say that a data mart contains 
only those data that is specific to a particular subject so for example the marketing data mart may contain only the data which is related to items customers and sales so the data marts are confined to some particular subject so for example the production data mart will contain the product type the manufacturing processes and the different parameters which are related to the manufacturing processes so regarding data marts you have to remember some major points so the first one is windows based or a unix based server are used for implementing the data marts so these are implemented on a low cost servers the next one is the implementation cycle of a data mart is measured in a short period of time which will be in weeks rather than months or a years the next one is the life cycle of data marts may be a complex in the long run so if their planning and design are not organization wide the next one is data marts are small in size as they are confined to the particular subject which will be valuable for a specific group of people in an organization the next one is data marts are customized by the department so if for the marketing data mart the marketing team will customize that data mart as well as for the sales data mart sales team will take care of the customizations which are involved in that data mart the next topic is the source of a data mart is a departmentally structured data warehouse so as you are already aware that warehouse has a multiple heterogeneous sources so this sources of data mart will be departmentally structured and the last one is data marts are flexible as the name suggests data marts can be highly customizable according to the needs of an organization for utilizing the data more precisely and efficiently so the data marts are built on top of the data warehouse which will have some particular subject and will be useful for a specific group of people so in this tutorial we have seen the basic terms which are involved in a data warehousing which are metadata next one is a metadata repository then we have seen what is a data cube and why is useful over a over a 2d representation of a data then we have seen the 3d data cube which is derived from the 3d table that we have seen with the help of a simple example and at last we have seen what is a data mart and why it is useful in an organization to divide the data to analyze it more efficiently so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates thanks for watching